Hey everybody, Michael Cunman here from Perth Golf Centre. Coming to you today, have a bit of a chat about the new tailor-made sim range. Specifically, we're gonna talk about the drivers they have in the market today. So there's three different types of drivers that uh, the tailor-made have currently got. The sim, the sim max, and the sim max D type. Uh, there's some variance between the different ones here, uh, which are gonna benefit different types of golfers, which we're gonna run through some of that tech in a moment, uh, and then give you some ideas about which one to look for to help improve your game. So let's start with some of the tech. Uh, what we have here from TaylorMade is what they're classifying as an asymmetric sole shape and inertia generator. Uh, when you look at the back or the undersole of the club, I should say, you'll notice that that fixed weight is angled slightly more towards the toe. Uh, in their studies, they've provided that uh, it increases club head speed, which will then potentially increase ball speed and distance. Um, it also basically moves uh, or increases the moment of inertia, uh, which is then going to allow for some more forgiveness. You'll also notice, uh, which they've had uh, in a few models, is their twist face. So they inject some resin into the face uh, to basically bring it as close as possible to the legal limits. That's gonna be then designed to give you more ball speed and also from off center shots, it should be able to correct some of those big miss hits, which is great for every level of golfer. What they've also got as well in the sim range only uh, is the adjustable weight. Uh, so the sliding weight here can be adjusted to help with fade or draw bias and they've also got uh, the adjustable loft sleeve. Now the adjustable loft uh, sleeve is on all of the three models and this can go up or down by two degrees which can change in their studies up to 20 yards of draw fade bias. Um, it also can change lie angles as well which can be difference in relation to face angle at impact. One thing you will notice uh, with the TaylorMade drivers, uh, all three of these models here is the look of it. Very different uh, than most of the drivers in the market, uh, market today. Uh, and it does have a multi-material construction which is consisting of carbon, steel, and titanium. It has that chalk white finish on the top. Um, and to be honest, from my personal opinion, it looks absolutely incredible. It looks like something you really wanna hit, gives you a bit of confidence, and hopefully that can help translate out onto the golf course as well. So as we were saying at the start, we do have three different types of models in this range. We have the Sim, the Sim Max, and the Sim Max D type. Now, which one is going to be suitable for your level of golf? Now, just to put it into very rough brackets, the Sim would be uh, probably more beneficial for your mid to low handicappers. It's a slightly smaller face design, a little less forgiving than the other, other drivers there. Uh, so it's basically gonna be one of those, if you hit it a little more centered and a little higher club speed, that is going to be the one you're going to be looking more towards. The Sim Max in itself uh, is probably gonna be the most popular on the market, in my opinion. Uh, it's gonna be suitable for low handicappers and high handicappers. It's gonna be an across the board driver that could help most players out there. And the Sim Max D type, for any of those golfers that need to get that ball airborne, need some more forgiveness, it's the largest face in the range, and it is, of course, a little bit of a draw-biased uh, club as well. It's going to help straighten up some of those shots and get you in the fairway a little bit more off. So with the different range, they do come with different stock shafts. Uh, now, it can be interchanged, these shafts. There's no problem with that at all, um, but they also do come with different loft options. So the sim in itself with the adjustable weight uh, comes in or stock standard with a Diamana and hazardous shaft or andor hazardous shaft. It does also come in an eight degree loft as well for those golfers that have the higher club speed and need to get that ball flight down slightly. The Sim Max comes standard with a Ventus Blue or Ventus Red shaft and it also comes in with a ladies option uh, in a 10 and a half and a 12 degree and they come with the Aldilla NV shaft. Uh, the Sim Max D type is very similar to the Sim Max range. Uh, the only thing is it comes um, stock standard with a UST helium shaft for the men and seniors, and also comes with the Aldilla NV shaft for the ladies. So overall, aesthetically pleasing driver, a lot of technology put into these drivers as well. Uh, I think it's gonna help pretty much the majority of golfers out there. You've got a little bit of choice depending on what you're trying to achieve. Are you trying to get a little more forgiveness and distance? Are you trying to lower the ball flight, increase the ball flight? Have a look through those, give them a try, 
definitely can help your game and also they look the part. They really look like an incredible driver. So uh, I hope that gave you a little bit of an insight into the new sim range, Shape in Motion. Any questions, please feel free to let us know. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.